What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install Snow Leopard or how I installed Snow Leopard on my PC so you can get an idea of how to do it. But first you want to get go get this file. Just go into ISO Hunt and type in Snow OS X Universal. I know you can't see that but you probably can. There you go. Just type that in and just pick up the most seeds, download it, burn it to a CD or mount it onto it here which I've done. Doesn't really match where you do it. And now I've already got my partition ready here. I know it's NTFS, but if you have it like that, it's easier to just format straight away within the disk config within the setup. Alright, let's do it. Enter with install boot. This is going to take a while. Now the installation is loaded up, we should be presented by this. It's just a like language screen, so obviously we're doing this, so just click next. Prepare installation. Snow is X, blah 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 blah. Yep, continue. Grey. Then go to utilities, disk utility, and cut the load. Now go to select your partition, and it's mine's to know OS X. Go to erase, select volume format to Mac OS as extended. Rename your partition, partition to whatever you want, so it's going to be Snow Leopard. As there, there you go. Now just click erase. Yep, let it do its thing. And now that should have changed to a folder icon, which means the partition is ready. So, X that, X, select that, continue. Now go to customize. So only select the ones I select because whenever I select one, it, I get cold panic on boot up. So, just take all these. Click A to Snow, because that comes with like drivers and stuff. It's the sound driver that came in that, that I've been using ever since. It's worked just fine. Just look that. You definitely want Snow, um, no, because that manages the CPU. Uh, we'll get to these two later. The PS2 is for like your mouse, so you definitely want that. Uh, I'm not sure about all these. Oh yeah, and Snoop, but that obviously. Yep, I think that's it. Click done. Now click install. I'll be it when it installs. Well, now that the installation is finished, you'll be asked to restart, so just hit restart. For that, the go away. Right, now hit any key because you don't want to immediately boot into Snow Leopard. You want to boot into it with the minus V, so you just type minus V, then hit and enter. It usually takes a while. This boot screen. 
for like a year telling me the same thing over again with languages that I've never even seen what the hell does that mean? Yeah. Right, when you build up you'll be this you'll get this so select your country and hit Alright, now I'm gonna show you the install drivers and stuff and where you can get them. Go to Safari, obviously. Oh god. Right now, do you on Google? Type in cakes. Just click the one at the top. Here you can get all sorts of drivers and stuff like bootloaders, miscellaneous network, chipsets. USB. I'm gonna go in the video driver because that's my main concern at the moment. Uh, in the video. Oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, God. Ah, this is the one you want. MV enabler. And like that. Uh, go to applications. If you have A tools selected, you know, it'll come into some, it'll already come from Kex Utility. Mm, yeah. Then, just drag your download, or well, your Kex, into Kex Enabler. It will ask for your password and then it'll install it and stuff. See? Let's yeah, wait for that to be done. Do the same the sound driver. The sound driver already comes with this, so you just go to um, go to this drivers and select the um the Fudu HDA one. That's the same one I'm using. It works perfect. Just wait for this to be done. Applications. Open Finder. Any tools? Get kicks. Ready. This usually takes a while, so you might want to work, like wait a few minutes. Oh, now I have no idea why that current pack has happened, but I just restarted my computer and well, it booted the driver's fine, so. Oh well. You know, I didn't install the video, the audio drivers and stuff that I showed you in before. I'm just gonna show you where we um, go to so you know how to update. So you can't just go updating blindly, so it won't work. Might do for some, but you want to go to this place called Netcast, and um, let's click on top. Yeah, I forget which one it is, but I think it might be December, uh, or maybe the one just before it. Yeah, and they tell you how to update the 10.6.2. How to update it's easy. You should just read through all that. In another place, to get you started, before you restart, go to my hack. Just type it in Google. My hack. Just type that in and go to the top one. Take a little bit to up. Click on that. Download. My hack installer. This will basically get you started on your own. Um, Hackintosh, you'll get all the giant, like all the boot, pop and bootloads installed and stuff. So just wait for that to download. Right now that you have that download, just double click on the file and it'll extract it, then open this. Then it's just install it. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. Yep. Alright, I think that's it for my tutorial. Thanks for watching, and comment and subscribe.